today's Committee of Del Arte. And you can see the little papers in front of you. There's education in there. Do not be frightened. We are a 501c3 educational organization. We know how to educate safely. So what we are doing today is another round of Arlecchino and Love. This is a story that was told in the 17th century by people in Naples, but that was not good enough for us. No, we have a 501c3 documentation uh, requirement of pre-1600. So we found another book that was 1611, but don't tell anybody. So this is done in the style of Commedia dell'arte that happened in 16th century in Florence. And what it is is improvised theater. That is comedy. It is one of the developments of how theater came to be. So what we are doing is taking a story that is, in fact, a thin outline of a story of love, a story of food, a story of revenge, and a story of turnips. Turn up. So, what I bring to you today is the story of Arlecchino. He is one of the most famous Commedia dell'arte characters ever that influenced theater for decades and decades afterward. And Arlecchino has fallen in love. And Arlecchino was a man who was constantly hungry. So who was he going to fall in love with but the cook next door? So now Arlecchino is in trouble. He has some challenges and we are going to help him through those. So Arlecchino is our hero. So when you see Arlecchino, he's the one with the patches, he's the one who's very much in love with the cook, you are going to cheer. He is our hero. So this guy gets every amount of support you can give him. So when Arlecchino comes out and you want to show him support, you're going to applaud and scream as loud as you can. Try it right now. Ready, set, go. Yeah! Because this is the man that represents the lover in us all, the one who is trying like everything he can to get with the woman and run away with her and start a restaurant in Venice, which is something we all want to do. So, one more time, a great, big, thrilling support for Arlecchino! The villain is our own Capitano Spaventa. When he comes along, he wants to steal a woman away. Is it the same woman? Is it a different one? We don't know, but he's evil, he's nasty, he's Spanish. And so when he comes in, we're all going to boo and hiss. You have the option, A or B, it's either fine, they're both fine, they're both perfectly legal. So pick your option, who are best, ready, set, go! Boo! Now there's one more thing, we have lovers. There are a lot of lovers in this one, and everybody's in love. So when the lovers come out, we need a little sound effect. We need a little bit of, and oh, that's a nice one, that's new. <laughs> All right, we now have two options. You can give the kissy faces, which is lovely, I love that. And you can also bring us the sound of angels sighing. Oh, oh that's lovely, thank you very much. So we now have three things to practice. Three things to practice. First of all, our hero comes on stage, our Lakino, and what do you do? Yeah! And then we have the villain. You make your choice. And then, of course, the lovers. Now you are ready. Now there's one last thing we need, and that is a magnificent welcome to the troupe E. Forenzi that brings to you today the story of Arlecchino in love! <laughs> But I'm 
if I'm banished? Oh, oh, that's a big problem. Oh, I'll have to think about why it's a big problem for a little while here. Um, oh, oh, it's a really big problem. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Calm down, Aikido. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Cannoli. Piccani. Oh, hi, there you go. Yes. What is troubling you, my friend? Oh, I, I forgot who this is. Uh, uh, oh, right. Um, I've just been banished from the Torres house because I ate too much. You're always getting into trouble because of your stomach. Again. Yeah. Why do you never stop? You need to stop. You need to, you need to show some moderation. 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 <laughs> look, look, this is no good. Who keeps making you all this food? Columbina! Columbina. My love! Huh. What do you see in that woman? All she does all day is cook. Never mind, I know exactly what you see. And man, can she cook. Oh. Well, you know that Columbina and I do not get along. No, I know, I can't believe you insert you said that her melons were too small and her melons were too high. I told her her buns were too big and her melons were too Oh, that was, no, either way, that was not a Ever yeah. since then, we have not gotten along together at all. And you said you weren't hungry anymore, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I wasn't at the time, so believe it or not, sometimes it's okay for you not to be hungry. Yes. Look, look, we need to come up with a plan. A plan? Yes, because here's the thing. Dottore has kicked you out of his house. Yes! I cannot go into Dottore's house, and therefore we need to come up with a plan to get you away with your trip. A plan! A plan! I'm so good at that! Let's think about a plan. Okay, okay. A plan. What if I got it? I got it! I got it! Oh, okay. good. Let me hear your plan. Doves. 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 If I get a whole bunch of doves and little pieces of string, I can tie the pig together. And they can lift me. Oh, I'm going to go over the wall, and I'll make it. Friend, let us explore this plan. You are going to spend the next couple of weeks capturing every dove in the city, and then you are going to somehow tie a small string just from the leg of each dove onto your own self. And then somehow you're going to walk up next to the building and get all of the doves to carry you straight up to the window where you will grab your love, step from the windowsill, and <laughs> spot! And then all the doves are likely to do what doves do on you. <laughs> this will not work. This is a poor plan. We need a better plan. That's my no, doves. No, no, no. Better plan. Yes. Uh, what if, uh, I don't know, what if you got a spoon? What if you got a spoon? Yeah, because if you take a spoon, you can dig your way through the wall. Yeah, yeah, you can just say, I've got to get started. Do you have a spoon? No, 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 no. A spoon is not how we solve this problem. No. Stone foundations canals. You begin to dig. By the time you are done with a week, you'll probably get a canal or two. You'll have to learn how to breathe underwater and continue to dig. It might take you, well, let's say a month or more to get under the walls and get to your true love. That is a month during which you do not get to eat at all. Oh, that's a really bad yeah, point. Another case, another one. Okay. Uh, maybe we can. Oh, what if I had a disguise? I wish I had a disguise. Okay, quick. No, here, 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 no, 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 would you like to hear my simple plan? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm simple. 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 Well, you know, I like to work with what's available, and I, it happens that I have, have this very large sack. Now, I have been around for a long time, and many are, is the wise person who has told me that women like a man who is good in the sack. So I want you to put this sack on and pretend you're good. 
Oh, you're okay. I'm good. So now I'm gonna parachute my way down. No, 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 no parachuting, no parachuting. You keep forgetting gravity. You're always forgetting gravity. It's a long period. Okay. For this plan to work, you must pretend that you are a pig. Me? Yes, you. You need to get down on the ground. Okay. Yes. Okay. And you need to cover yourself up oh, okay. as well as you can. Yes. Okay. And then and just if anybody happens to touch you, if I nudge you, you need to squeal like a pig. You ready? You ready? Let's try. Okay. Ready? Okay. Yee! Okay, good. If I a little louder. Yee! And if I really, really kick you, hey! Yeah, that's right. No, it's me. Oh, we! Yeah, we! Right. Right. Very nice, very nice. Now, for the next part of our plan, we're going to need, we're going to need somebody to deliver the pig. Oh, I'll do it! No, you can't oh, deliver it yourself. Oh, gee, gee. Yes! Yes! Ah, there you are, Pedrolino! Oh, master, master! Oh, I, I, I live to serve you. I, I'm here to serve you. And as and well it is good, for I am Pantalone, the richest man in all Ravenna. Yes, and, 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 and all of you are here. Oh, Pantalone, my master, this is, this is a very special gift. This is a pig. A pig? Yeah. Yes. A pig, you say? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, a pig. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And why are you carrying around the pig? Oh, this is a long, involved story. Do you Can have you make it for short for I will summarize. Yes. <laughs> I am to deliver this pig to the cook of Colombina, and then she is to do with the pig what cooks do with pigs. Ah, ah. But I find myself oh, hesitant to approach the house because ah, I know about, about that yes. problem of yours. Yeah, I heard about, about that. that. Buns too big, so, melons too small. Yeah, right now, now I'm out of there. So, so hey, oh, hey. Oh, I have a I, brilliant idea. I have a brilliant That's idea. idea. I will take, take the pig. pig. Yes, you will take the pig. Ah, that's a fine idea. That is a brilliant idea. Yeah. Columbus yes. is a fine. Because you know <laughs> that yeah, <laughs> Columbina <laughs> might very well be very grateful. All right, all right, all right. I will do this. You, you go about my business. I will business. settle your affairs. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes. All right, all right. Oh, my pig. Oh, hoo Oh, that's there. Yes, Isabella, what have you been doing? I just got back from the market. I you got just got back from the market. And new shoes. New shoes? And jewelry. And, oh, 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 I am the richest man in Aravena, and you make her be the poorest man in Aravena. Oh. What's in the sack? Uh, that is a pig. <gasps> you got me a pig? I did you not get you a pig. You dress up up in a pig. Really? 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 No, no, it's not for you. It's not for you. Ah, I did not get you. I already named him. I do not name your food. How many times have I told you? Okay, okay. This, this, I, I just can't deal with this. You need to go to your room. Inside, inside, right away. Be nice to Ferdinand. Ferdinand? Where did that come from? Oh, oh, beautiful woman, I see. Oh, oh it's very nice, very nice, but uh, Nothing compared to the towns in Spain. Oh, that's a beautiful country, yes. But nonetheless, I am here to win the heart of beautiful Isabella. And her arms, and her legs, and other stuff, but we won't talk about that. Nonetheless, for me to be able to do that, I must win her father first. Speak of it. Oh, sir, and you are? are you doing? You are? Me? Yes, you. You know me? Yes. I am Pantalone. Who are you, Benovio? You should know who I am, for I am el grandioso, el magnifico, el supercalifragilístico espialidoso, Emilio Lozada, Carlos Alberto Ramírez, Andrés Martínez, José Ángel, Spando! Woo! Yeah! Well, I bet I can get a 
I will give you three scooty for three the scooty. Three scooty, God! Three scooty! I will. Yes. No, no, no. You can't do that. No, no. Uh, I, I must tell you, this pig is worth at least 30 ducats. 30 ducats? 30 ducats? My goodness. Uh, there we go. I'll give you five scooty. Five! Uh, no, no. This, this pig is worth. Uh, all right. You talk me down to 25 ducats. 25. Oh my goodness, what is this guy gonna do? Get me broke? I don't even have the five scooty. Gee. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah. Is, is he a plump pig? He's plump. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'm sure he's a fine specimen, yeah? He's a fine specimen. Well, of course, you can show me his pedigree, right? Wee oui, wee! Oui. Pedigree? Yeah. I mean, you uh, can leave it. This, this is at least a, a fine Italian pig, right? Well, well he's actually a French pig. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir, are you trying to rob me of my money? This thing is worth at least French! He was imported! I, it's an import! I am offended. Tell you what, you can ask any of these fine people where to find me if you ever want to talk to me again. Ah. Goodbye! Good riddance! Oh. Ah. Well, he did bargain well, though. That whole important thing, I thought, work. Isabella. Oh, Isabella, you are the stars in my sky, the birds in my window, the iambic in my pentameter. Oh, Isabella, you are my first, second, third, fourth, and fifth you. You're my sixth. <laughs> Isabella, how I long to spend the rest of my life in your arms. <laughs> but there's your father. Every love story has an obstacle, and this one is no <laughs> But who am I? Who am I? I am Orazio, the greatest poet in all Ravenna. I have the gift of the silver tongue. And then you shall see as I will persuade her father to give me her hand in marriage. Oh. Master Pantalone! Oh. Yes! Oh, Master. it's you, Oregano. Oh, 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 grazie. That's what I said. Uh, oh, grazie, <laughs> yes. Master Pantalone, oh, we're looking very wealthy today. I, I am wealthy today. Now, you are a merchant, are you not? I am a merchant, yes. Oh, yes. Then you will understand the woe, the tragedy, the terrible nature of the tale I'm about to tell you. Oh? Yes, yes, Master Pantaloni, for something of great value has been stolen from me. Stolen? Stolen! S call the what? No, Master Pantaloni, for the thief is none other than your own daughter. My daughter, Isabella? Yes. What she steal? She has stolen my heart! Worthless. Oh. <laughs> Worthless. Master Pantaloni, I'll have you know that the heart of a poet is a rare and beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't sell it anywhere. I must have restitution. I must have your daughter's hand in me. <laughs> I was not very good. Oh, and for a heart that seems a fair trade. Uh, parts, parts. <laughs> This isn't working, I'll have to try a different time. He's a merchant, a little quid pro quo, my dear. Yeah. Master Pantalone, what is in this sack? Oh, that's a pig. Oh. <laughs> and where are you taking this? I, I'm taking it to Colombino's. Ah, Maybe. Colombino. Yes, yeah, Colombino. Oh. Oh. Little fine. <laughs> Master Pantalone, I have a business proposition for you. A business proposition? Yes, yes, for you see, it is no key to women's laws, it's fairly poetical. I'll weave for you a honey rhyme, a tapestry of words sublime. A worthless, worthless. Then she'll swoon into your waking arms. Ah, succumbing to your manly charm. Yeah. And open wide her carnal door, because Columbina's such a wonderful parable. <laughs> <laughs> You have no appreciation for my genius? Ah, uh, no. Little stuff. Uh, I might be. Might be. Um, how much? 
Dirty jacket? Yes. Dirty. So. Please. Oh, oh, let me go get my sorry tools. Oh, dirty jacket. <laughs> Okay, so, but 
No, not the ducks. No, I'll stop no, with the no, 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 okay. Yeah, uh, that's a different plan. Okay. Uh, how about this? No, we did the no, sack. No, spoon. No, spoon. No, sack is right out. Sacks don't work. Yes, we've already established. Oh! We don't need a plan. We don't need a plan? Great! I never have one. All we have to do is walk up to the door and knock, and here's why. Rodotome has gone to the house of my master. Columbina and Dottori were in that building. Dottori left. Who's left in the building? Give me a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Columbina! That's right! Hey! So just walk up and knock. You just walk up and knock. Ready? Go. Okay. Go. Walk up and knock. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. 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 Oh. 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 Oh.
Oh, there. Oh, oh, Miss Amanda. Wait, how your father to go on? How would love be able to get you back? Nonetheless, the thing, the way to do this, this is not acceptable. And then my state, like unto the lark and brink of day arising from sullen earth, sings hymns at heaven's gates. <laughs> but I, sweet love, remember such wealth dreams. Gypsy? They're broken! You don't work! You don't work! 
Is she married for love? No, for money. But she needs to marry for love. She's got to marry for love. She's it's going to marry for money. She's going to marry for money. Okay, you! Okay, you! Okay, you! Okay, you! 
thought of marrying a poor poet. But he's not poor. He's not. Okay. He's not. What do you mean he's not? He's rich. He's rich. <laughs> yes, he's rich. Yeah, how do you think I could afford to stand around all day making poetry? That doesn't pay. <laughs> Son, father. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. One more great round of applause for these magnificent. 